Hey, how's it going boys and girls? Cowries here and welcome back to the Care Club. In the last video, we left off building this cliff with the edge of death. In today's video, we're going to continue adding onto the landscape with a huge cliff stone so you can build this all around your island, making it look like a tropical paradise. So let's get right into it. The materials we're going to be using are these right here. We got gravel, grass, stone, glass, dark green clay, and white clay. Now I know these color clays are not easy to come by, so if you don't have them, don't worry about it. You can still make the cliff stones without it. Some of you might be confused what I'll be doing. So here is a simple technique breakdown that we're going to be using. Hopefully this will make it easier for you to follow. The first thing to do is put down some outline in diagonal pattern. So you should have something that looks like this. For every block that you place on the ground, build it upward by 2-5 to five blocks high. This will give you a nice jacket look for the cliff. Then you will make another layer starting at the back of the wall and build it upward by 2-5 to five blocks high again. If you look at the results, it is slowly turning into a cliff. This is all we're doing, building up the cliff one layer at a time. The first thing we need to do is find a place to put this massive cliff stone. Once you have decided where to put it, you will then build a circular outline. It doesn't have to be perfect and don't make it too big. For your first cliff stone, I suggest you build it small so you get the idea how to build it. Once you can build a small one, you can then build a bigger one. The best outline is when it looks like a wobbly circle. It doesn't look like anything and that's what you want. Once you have the outline, we're going to build it up layer by layer. We'll build up each layer, one block at a time, two to five blocks high. And by the way, this is a very time consuming process so be patient when you are building it. When it is finished, your first layer should look like a wall of test totems. Once you're happy with this, build a second layer right behind the first layer with a different material. I use stone here to separate the gravel and again build the layer 2-5 to five blocks high. And you want to keep building upward until you get the height you want. Now I'm going to stay quiet for a bit because there is nothing much for me to explain and in each layer you are simply doing the same thing. I kept building up each layer until I have reached the 6th layer. And we're back. If you look at it now, the cliff part is finished. What you should have at this point is a giant wall of gravel and stones with a hole on top. To cover the hole, we will put a layer of grass on top. You can simply do this by placing a grass block on top of the cliff and fill it across the entire cliff stone. If part of the cliff is sticking out, just build around it. The last thing you want to do is place some grass on the edge so the cliff and the grass blend together. So now when we look at it from far away, the stone cliff is basically finished if you are happy with it. However for me, I would like to make it even better with waters at the bottom of the stone and splashes against the cliff wall. The problem I'm seeing with the cliff is that the bottom looks too flat. It looks like someone has cut the bottom of the cliff right off. So what I did was place some stone blocks right underneath the cliff stone. The color difference between the gravel and the stone makes it look like watermarks. Once that is done, I submerge the cliffstone into the water by building around it with two layers of glass. 
the stacking of the glass makes part of the water look more white than the other part. So when we look at it from far away, we can see that it looks like a small wave that is hitting against the bottom of the rock. But we're still not finished with it. Right now, the cliffstone looks a bit pale around the bottom because of all the white color from the gravel and glass. We need to separate the white color by adding a darker color. So we'll be using dark green clay and overlay it on the edge of the cliff, making it look like moss or seaweed. It doesn't look like much when it is up close. If you stand far away and look at it, it looks a lot better. Then finally, the last bit of detail is putting a splash against the cliff wall. I'm going to use the new white clay to make that splash. I'm not going to give specific instructions on how to make water because it is even harder than the cliff. And now, this is finished. If you want to improve this, you can always add a bridge so you can walk between the cliff and the stone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and the instruction was easy enough for you to understand this time so you can build this for yourself. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video in-game or at the Carrier Club. Take care everybody.